So you do a fake reviews. No, that's again really, really bad. If you ever get caught creating fake reviews, your reputation is basically gone for the rest of eternity. And there are so many better ways how to get real reviews. I think the reason why some people get bad reviews is like uh, people who are pissed off, they actually put in the effort to uh, take in the time to create a review. So what you want to do is you want to incentivize people to actually uh, create reviews when they're in a good mood. Because it can get the really wrong impression if you're just having a couple of uh, bad reviews. It just doesn't mean like your product is bad. It's people who are really pissed off, they actually take the time to write a review. Some of the ways that are really easy to implement is to give um, people like a small incentive to write a review. You can say it doesn't matter if it's like a good review or a bad re review, you just want to have their honest opinion. Obviously you don't, so you might ask it like in a smart movement. For example, if someone is using your software uh, as a service and they just um, pass a certain number of points which indicates they're actively using your software, so actually found it useful after a while, so you might just record certain events in your application and when you found certain an, an amount of engagement, then pop, put up a pop-up and ask them like, would you like to write a review? And you can give them like an incentive, like an Amazon voucher, or you could give, give them additional features, which again will only be like really attractive to people who actually like it. So the people who like, yeah, not sure. Um, if I want to have some five more users or 10 more projects, uh, they don't spend the time to write a review, but the ones who actually like the stuff, they will be incentivized by this, and then you can get them to write a review, which will get you like better reviews, and then uh, whenever like the outlier um, is creating a bad review, they are outnumbered by the number of 10,000 good reviews. So yeah, don't buy fake reviews.